I wonder if there's anything interesting on the radio. Howdy. Money. It's like putting an axe on a gun. Uh, speaking of which, uh, um, musket axe is a thing. Uh, Have you guys oh seen, yeah, I've seen that? The real, the real ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's just a musket with an axe on the end. They're fucking awesome. I want one. <laughs> like, there's no imagination put into it, but it works. Mm-hmm. I, I yeah. wonder what would happen if I put an axe on the end of my musket. Yeah, it's like when I thought like the uh, uh, gun blades from Final Fantasy were cool, and it says, like, "Oh, the the Swedish or the Swiss, I can't remember, invented them like 400 years ago, or something crazy." It's like the thought, my gun g- doesn't kill well enough at a short range. Let me add an axe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the I mean, next stage is going to be... Huh? Considering it's a musket, it's probably about as accurate at close range as it is at far range. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, the next step is going to be, how can, how can the way my gun kills someone be more insulting? That's, that's the next step. So, like, when you shoot someone... It lets out an air horn that goes da 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 as bullets are hitting them. That would be that would do it. I I want that. Get on that, guys. Are oh. are we oddcasting already? I've, I I've been recording for good measure, but oh, I don't why, even know. Why not? Why not? I don't. Like, this this I can all be pre-roll. Yeah. Okay. This is. Uh, we have, I said I, I, I said I, I was doing something else tonight, but since you're already recording, I guess I'm here now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Sweet. shit. I mean, you could just like leave in the middle, and would be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we have a plan ever. You're listening to the Oddcast. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we try and plan and then it fails and yep. we do other shit. And... It kind of worked when we had, when we did uh, Oddcast a while ago because we just kind of rambled about stuff we didn't like. Yeah. And then that went very well. I like the Boris Johnson one. I still listen to that. Yeah, I love Boris Johnson shit. <laughs> that was so good. I, I actually found out that like this year that he, got, he went on a zip line and got stuck and like nobody helped him. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> it was super fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I have okay. never seen anything dumber. Okay. John, do you know explain the story to me? Okay. John, do you know who Boris Johnson is? No, fill me he's, in. He's the mayor of London and Oh, okay. He's and like, the silliest person in the universe. He's the silliest person in the universe and like Somehow people love him even though he just fucks up constantly. So, okay, so he's your Rob Ford. I guess. He's I don't know. Worse. Rob Ford is the, um, I, we don't have him in the US. He's the current mayor of Toronto, I think. Yeah, no. Or Rob gov- Ford governor of Toronto, the guy who's yeah. high on coke like 90% of the time. Yeah, he, oh. he's worse because he does actual drugs. Yeah. Boris took- Johnson is funny because he doesn't do drugs, but yeah. still acts like he's on acid. Imagine if, you, imagine if you took like Rick Santorum's evil and turned it into like clumsiness. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And just basically spewing shit that makes no sense, but it comes out in a somewhat charming manner. Yeah. Is that I just because he has a British accent? No, no, no. It's no, because it's, it's, he has a, such an overly British accent and just the funniest hair and personality in the universe. It just culminates into this mm-hmm. golden boiling pot of <laughs> stupid shit and funny, funny monologues. Yep, and uh, it's weird because, like... He, he's the mayor of London, and people from London are like, what the fuck is going on with this guy? <laughs> it's amazing. But yeah, like, there was this, was it for the Olympics or something, when he just, he had, like, an, a Union Jack flag in each hand, and he went down a zip line. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just stopped in the middle, and no one helped him. They just yeah, took he photos. He was <laughs> just there, in the middle of the zip line. Maybe, I'm going to find a photo. It was hilarious. Oh, my God. Oh... Uh, and he and the, just the look on his face is <laughs> priceless. It's also like the it's also like the pose he's ended up in makes it even funnier. <laughs> it's because it's him, man. Okay, he's like. Imagine if um, our government tried to invent like a patriotic James Bond. This is what this picture is, and this is what it would be. <laughs> okay, it's pretty great. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. 
It's just like he's trying to look dignified while he's basically wearing the adult version of an extreme diaper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just the little blue helmet tops it off. Yeah. It's like those helmets that like, you know, you got your head the right shape kind of helmet. <laughs> I know that's I know that's really mean to say, but that's what the vibe I get. Well, I mean, in all in his defense, those helmets fit nobody. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the thing about it is, it does fit him. Have you seen that? His, <laughs> yeah, his head is misshapen as fuck. Have you seen the memes of like uh, people photoshopping him hanging off of different stuff? No, but I can imagine. No. It. It's like it's one of him hanging hanging off the bike from ET as they go over the moon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here it is I'll just send you that now bam <laughs> <laughs> what a ridiculous person yeah. okay speaking of, speaking of ridiculous people I think it is time for my daily check of Florida man yes absolutely <laughs> okay so Florida man what are you up to recently Florida man uses gun as prop while singing along to rap lyrics, Shoop's friend. <laughs> <laughs> so he was just, he had it in his hand and was doing like the gun he poses. Just, he just had this gun, gun in his hand, an actual loaded gun, while singing along to rap lyrics and he accidentally shot his friend. Wow. <laughs> okay, here's another wow. one. Florida man claims homemade bombs are for fishing. Even the one with nails in it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now, in his defense, I'm pretty sure Extreme Fishing had that as a weapon. And if it didn't, I'm very disappointed in that game. Okay, I'm sorry, it's not a good one. Waitress looks up to discover Rain is in fact Florida Man peeing on her from a balcony. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> oh god oh god florida find- man ignored by dunkin donuts employee during armed <laughs> robbery attempt admits i'm not very good at this <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just saw that one oh find these? It's, it, it's on a twitter it's oh it's, yeah the florida man twitter florida man twitter we're, we're just reading this twitter and it's amazing uh. <laughs> Florida man asks cop if he can borrow his gun. Says he needs to take care of some blank, wow. some n words. Oh. <laughs> He's like, "Hey, I need to shoot some people. Can I borrow your gun?" <laughs> I need to shoot some blanks. I just, I just seen one. Like, I don't really get the context of this, but the image is like oddly charismatic. It's homeless Florida man tells cops he didn't listen to his parents and he isn't going to listen to them. Skateboards away. <laughs> <laughs> so just into the distance just <laughs> you can't tell me what to do nobody can not even my parents and he just skates off into the sunset <laughs> yeah. he's like wearing like an parents. old Viet- he he's skates off like into the a- sunset like pushing a cart with him yeah and he's wearing like an old scruffy like Vietnam jacket that's kind of the picture I have of that guy Florida <laughs> man manages to get bitten by a shark on dry land <laughs> I just imagine homeless people everywhere that's that's basically well, just, how my image of Florida is. Yeah. Oh god, Does that this sounds is... correct. Um well, Florida is that one state we all acknowledge exists. It's like Matt, it's like it's like Wales. It's like Wales for us, okay? It's like Wales for us. Florida Florida takes second That's place mean, to New no, Jersey. Cool. No. Florida takes third place to New Jersey and Los Angeles. Oh, okay. We acknowledge they exist, and that's about it. But, I mean, New Jersey, is that worse or better than L.A.? Worse, I hear. Um, well, okay. New Jersey. I mean, Jersey. Yeah, uh, guys. New Jersey, I think, has been tainted as a, as a direct result of Jersey Shore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But because previously, the only thing that we had out of New Jersey was the fact that it was literally America's armpit and, hey, I'm walking over here. Yeah. Yeah. Which was sort of a crossover with New York City. Yeah. So. But thanks to Jersey Shore, now we got Guidos in there too. Yeah, so you, you got assholes and assholes. But then again, Los Angeles is dickholes and pussies. So. Sounds like a good time. 
<laughs> I mean, I mean would, you, would you rather sit and listen to a vegan talk about your emissions for meat eating for an hour or two? Or uh, would you have a 15-minute conversation with a guido going, Hey, you want a drink? Let me buy a drink. Have you met my sister? She's very fuckable. I mean, <laughs> I'd rather yeah. take the New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, because and, uh, and this, Florida, yeah. Florida is just on bath salts. I assume hold, I'm pretty sure the bath salt guy was from yeah. Florida. <laughs> yep. And also, I mean, that's yep, much better. Than just, that's also much better than just having someone just outright saying the way that you eat to stay alive is wrong. Because that's just yeah. like, fuck, fuck I mean, that. I mean, here's here's the thing about like, I I get veganism and vegetarians and that shit. But I mean. I love meat, and I mm-hmm. require it as sustenance for my survival. Also, vitamin B is the best source of it. Yeah, and, you know, without vitamin B, you end up becoming dead. Mm-hmm. Because you end up with sleep issues, your shit ends up being shit, like really bad shit, not the good <laughs> kind of shit. Yep. And, you know, it messes with all kind of hormones shit. And, uh, <laughs> I'm shit way too much right now. I just found a great one. Okay. Ash-covered Florida man says he's a 400-year-old Indian as he wishes all a happy new year, drives off in stolen car, crashes. <laughs> <laughs> so my assumption here is that the entirety of the water in Florida actually does have bath salts mixed in with it. Yeah. As a result, as a result of the like the uh, baby boomers who all go down there to vacation, take baths with bath salt. The bath salts go into the water, which people then drink, which makes them crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that <laughs> that's makes why. Because Florida doesn't have water filtration, I guess they don't. I'm it, guessing they don't. I, I I don't know. Probably not. If that's, if that's their water sources. filtration is probably clogged up with bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the bath salts broke their machine. Yeah, I like would it. not doubt it, honestly. See, at first I thought you were talking about the drug bath salts, but now I realize just regular I mean, bath salts. Yeah, literally bath salts. Yep. Yeah, you heard about that, right? They just murder. I don't need your to inform brain. people about the bath uh, salt thing. I don't think I know about the bath salts thing. Um, a couple of years ago, I think some guy got high on literally bath salts yeah. and ate another person. Who was oh, alive. Fuck. I did hear yeah, about that. Yeah, that was the homeless guy. He ate the homeless guy. Oh, that's yeah. zomb- the zombie thing. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't eat That was in Florida. He, he didn't kill him. He, like, bit part of his face off, right? Yeah. Yeah. I did but say was he was bad. eating him alive. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't die, but he's, like, disfigured now. Oddcast. It looks good on you. Speaking of a <laughs> man eating another man alive, uh, any games you played recently? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I only say this because I was playing a food game a little bit ago. Uh, so now we've already... Did, we just immediately went into cannibalism. Is that what you're saying? Did you, wait, do you have wait, any food? Like, instead of going, like, murder well, or zombie... Well, you know, going, Dying you Light came out recently, <laughs> so that's on topic. It's a perfectly wait. reasonable segue. What is food game? Did I miss... Did I, did I miss the... Big old boat on this because no, I don't know what food game is. No, no, no. See, no, he had a food game, but oh, after it, he used the segue, a person eating another person. Oh God! <laughs> right, food game, and I was like, yes, that is the correlation. You should I thought there was not somebody, like, murder freaking... or zombies. But oh God! Food. Hey, it's a perfectly reasonable segue. So <laughs> we're a cannibal. <laughs> It's food to somebody, man. It's food to someone. Uh, well, true. Uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, uh, but yeah, yeah games. Wait, uh, you, you wanted to talk about food? <laughs> no, games. Games. Oh, games. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. I only really play Gary's Mod at the moment because my gaming computer's at home. Uh, well, I... <laughs> You know, Dragon Age is yeah. basically the thing I'm trying to complete. <laughs> yes. How's that I'm, going? You know, I'm 15 hours in and mm, not playing at all, basically. 
I'm trying, like, I'm trying to build up the time and just being like, okay, I need to sit down and play this game, but I don't have the energy or time. I do have the time right now, but I mean, I would rather sit and do anything else than play Dragon Age at this moment. Mm. Yeah, it's not really a good. Are you, are you Dragon Age out? Yeah, I mean. The thing is, you get really bored with Dragon Age because it ends up being a grind fest. It just feels grindy and grindy. Ah, uh, really? Like not yeah. in a good way? Because sometimes no, you get like, like it a started good grind. out. It started out like I was exploring these vast zones. I thought, and then suddenly it just felt like the world got smaller and smaller and smaller instead of bigger. And then it just <laughs> felt like everything got more and more tedious. And then it got very tedious, and then I just had to go to work. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I feel like games have sort of lost the ability to suddenly go, here's the whole world. Like, yeah. yeah. The last game I really remember doing that was Final Fantasy VII, because you jump off of a bridge on a motorcycle, and then disc two. And then suddenly, instead of one mega city, you're in the whole world. Yeah. <sighs> How about you, Ben? Any? Well, actually, you said Gary's mod. Yeah, I oh, don't have any games with you. Oh. What? What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just thinking about cannibalism. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm back that on is that. A, it, <laughs> thanks for bringing that up, John. <laughs> <laughs> when I eat people, I like to cook it medium rare. You know why, John? Okay, go ahead. Oh. What games? Games. Let's go to no, games. Let him marinate in the I, I actually, for a couple I, I of weeks. I played a game. I played a game called Happy Wars. Happy, happy War. Wars. I've not heard of this. Not so happy. It's free on Steam right now. Okay, I think it's going to be gonna... staying Steam, but it's okay. not so happy. I'm gonna look this up, and I'm gonna tell you guys what it is. All right. Okay. Yeah. Happy Wars. Oh God. Okay. Happy Wars free to play. I'm looking it up. Any moment now, Steam. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. Oh, we go. Um, okay. It is an action-packed, massive online multiplayer game. We play together with as many as thirty players. Uh, so apparently, it's like a thirty people at once. Melee gore fest looking <laughs> thing. And it's completely yeah, I'm shit. Looking at it now. I'm it actually looks pretty it. interesting. There's a bunch. There's like a guy with a cannon, and there's meteors raining down. It looks sort of Team Fortress Two almost in the idea, I guess. But it's like like thirty people per game. Hmm. You can have that in TF Two. What do you make of it? I don't know. I'm just watching the thing now. It looks. Okay, not the kind of thing I play because I don't do that at the moment, really. But uh, it looks like a laugh. Mm, what are your thoughts on a Pa is the only person who's actually played this thing? Well, I'm gonna say it's shit, but that's mostly because it's a pay to win sort of game. Oh, oh. Uh, no, really? That sucks. <sighs> well, that's yeah. sad. That's such a shame. Because uh, I'm looking oh, at this thing, there's like, there's like a little guy who got a big cannon shooting things and there's a guy it, with two swords looks, who's saying I'll they make it want. look really great and to be fair it plays okay but it is still a pay to win mm. oh that's, that's sad nice. that makes me sad too I'm trying to find a game <clears throat> to play that is interesting but I mean GTA 5 is never coming out oh yeah Eventually, uh, around the time Half Life two point seven five comes out, yeah, yeah. yeah. Half Life three, that two point seven five there. And uh, I mean, I oh. I wanna I wanna get into H one Z one, but then again, I'm just like, ah, can I be asked? Uh, you could, uh, I don't know, look into some of these like strange Japanese games that have been ported into English and keep showing up on Steam. <laughs> the uh, yeah, yeah. the, the, the uh, hentai games? No, the visual novels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah visual novels. They're, they're, they're hentai games. Oh, really? They really are. Oh, the ones on the... Steam are the censored version. Yes. Uh, like, 
like or Jesse not. Recently. Yeah, Honey Pop is a porn game. It absolutely uh, is. I believe Sakura Spirit was, in fact, a porn game, but it's been censored. I may be <laughs> wrong on that. I wouldn't be surprised looking at the character designs. Yeah. Um, Hyperdimension Neptunia, which for some reason is coming to Steam, is not a porn game. Yes, I know it is. That one I know vague things about. Mostly that all the characters in it are anthropomorphic characterizations of uh, video game consoles. Sounds like it should be a porn game. It should, but it isn't. <laughs> hmm. I'm glad it's I would not buy it if it was a <laughs> porn game. <laughs> you would, you would buy it if it was. Yeah, but not yeah. seeing as <laughs> like, it's not. Yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, but it's not, so I'm not buying it. <laughs> Wait, no, but I'm looking just looking at the new releases list on Steam, and it's just n- nothing interesting. Oh, GTA is scheduled for February first. What oh, February first? So said March twenty no, fourth for me. It's meant to March. Yeah, March twenty fourth. Oh, pre-purchased Wait, by Feb a- one for GTA San Andreas. Oh well, but uh, Gat Out of Hell is out. Yep. Yeah, that, that's going to be interesting to play. I still haven't, you know, seen that much of it. You know, I know what it is, but I mean, it's a Saints Row game, which means it's probably you can probably guess what a good amount of the gameplay is going to be like. Yeah, and the gameplay is terrible, but <clears throat> the story is fun. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be the same thing like it usually is. And uh, apparently, I saw Badly. okay, I saw one trailer which involved a fairly lengthy musical number, which involved Johnny Gat, Kinsey, and Satan and Satan's daughter singing about their various situations. What? Oh my god! I mean, and I'm just looking. Apparently, forward to- apparently that is. A thing that continues happening throughout the game. Like, they just pop into musical numbers. Cool. That Weird. sounds wonderful. But, you know, I mean... It needs to have a point. I, <laughs> I get that Saints Row is getting sillier and sillier, but that sounds like it's starting to borderline too silly. I mean, like, I think that once they, if they make a new game that's, like, not on the Saints Row 3 engine and it's actually, like, an upgraded, super crazy version of it, hmm. then I'll be happy because then it will be super shiny and nice. That was my only, like, big gripe about Saints Row 4 is it was directly on the engine and it just felt like a big batch of yeah, DLC. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I still I mean, enjoyed it. it. Originally. And I really liked the side-scroller mode. That was amazing. <laughs> Oh, you mean the thing where you find Johnny and you're in like a Streets of Rage type thing? Yeah, and it converts your character into a sprite somehow. Yeah, that was really cool. I want. I'd like. I'd like that to be like a consistent game that you know, like how you you can do uh, collateral damage missions and you can do like courier missions and stuff like that because they're scattered around the city. Yeah. Oh, just do side-scrolling if, missions? If there were side-scrolling um, beat 'em up missions around, like that could be how you hack into. Uh, through firewalls or something, like you fight your way in. I don't know. That'd be cool. Yeah. Well, let's see what I've been playing here. Um, well, besides Call of Cthulhu yeah. and various random stuff, I've been back in Minecraft really? a lot. Yeah. Um, I've got two different mod packs going, and they're really fun just working through them. Huh. Yeah, so I've got one survival, one creative, just messing around with stuff. Let's see here. Uh, I've also been playing through Hitman Absolution. Really? Yeah, I started that game. I got like halfway through it, and then I just stopped. I don't even remember why I stopped. I just did. (laughs) Probably because I was getting frustrated by not being able to 100% stealth missions, but Uh. whatever. And then not everyone can be a silent assassin. Oh, most of the time, I just need more beans. Some people need to be a screaming assassin. (laughs) Speaking of screaming assassins, I've also been playing through Metal Gear Rising: Revengeance again. (laughs) (laughs) Excellent segue. I know, right? Excellent. I know. That's what I said. I I think that game will never leave my hard drive Mm. because. the way I like to describe it is it's the one game where the low point is catching a robot 
the size of a several story building, throwing it up in the air and cutting its arm off. And yeah. the high point is having a 1v1 fight with a U.S. senator in a crater. <laughs> mm-hmm. Awesome. Fucking awesome. Gotta love it. <clears throat> yeah, so that's uh, pretty much all I've been playing recently. Pretty cool. I want to play more games. I want to play the Escapists. That looks fun. That shouldn't be... That looks pretty uh, low tech. You could probably manage it on a I mean, it might be. It might. <laughs> it might be on Mac. It probably is, but there's no way I can afford it. Mm. Even if it's like, yeah, it's a tenner, and it's on P- PC. But there's a thumbs up. Oh yeah, it's only on PC for some reason. That's stupid. But yeah, I, even though it's a tenner, I can't afford that because I'm poor right now. Mm. That's always an issue. It is. It's not nice. One thing that is coming up, though, that I'm looking forward to, Magicka 2. Really? Yeah, that that is actually going to be exciting. Yeah, it's coming out. It's going to be a what? thing. Hey, let me... When, let me uh... When's it coming out? I didn't see that. Uh, I don't think there's a release date yet. It's just this year sometime. What? Magicka 2? This year? I think so, yeah. Hmm. Well, I didn't see it. it so, many fr- was, it was a- so many friendships. Are going to be lost. Yeah. And it's going to be glorious. Dude. That too. I can't wait to play this with you guys. It's going to be great. I've got Magicka 1, and I still need to play it with people. Yeah, I've got Magicka 1 to never got past the second level? I like the Vietnam uh, DLC where you can get machine gun. Oh, God. Yeah. That's, that <laughs> DLC is hard. You mean a Nam wizard? I have played all of Magicka and beaten all of Magicka. Hmm. So, I will gladly hold your hand throughout the entire thing, you wimps. Like the literally, uh, literally, the only thing I'm waiting for right now of of all games is basically wait two things. It's Legend of the Void, no Legacy of the Void, sorry, and Overwatch. That's it. I have no, I have nothing else. I'm like super excited about except those two things. How about Star Citizen? I've seen it. It looks amazing. It looks like a lot of fun, and I might get it, but I'm not super stoked. No Man's Sky. No. no. Similarly, like I, if I had the money, I would buy No Man's Sky. I would get Elite Dangerous, and I actually yes. already own Star Citizen because I kickstarted it. Yeah, but. I'm. I'm. I'm on the edge i'm on the fence about buying star citizen right now but i'm not sure i mean there's nothing there for star citizen right now it's just like a demo basically yeah it's basically it's gonna be a giant whole crazy world eventually yeah but i mean getting in now is probably the better way but uh we'll wait Uh, yeah i i i just love space games i have a giant massive throbbing boner for two things, <laughs> giant mech games and space slash dog fighting games, which yes. is why uh, Strike Suit Zero made me cream my pants because it was literally both of those things combined. Well, Damn. I mean, it, okay. it's it's all right in the end, but still, like the idea behind this, like you're a dog fighting spaceship that also turns into a robot. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Sounds awesome. That's the thing, you know. I, I'm not really that excited anymore. Huh. I'm really excited about um, No Man's Sky, though, just because of like what it is and how it looks. Those two big points for me. It's the style; yeah. it's amazing. Hopefully, it'll be as good as they're hyping it up to be. Yeah, so. I hope it's not like another Destiny. Well, yeah. What's the name of that? Uh... Uh, the game where you play as if you're in the Middle Ages. Uh, oh, Middle Age. uh, Kingdom Come. Yeah, Kingdom Come. I'm that. I'm also looking forward to because that looks fucking boss. <laughs> I, know, I just went Middle Age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Kingdom, one. I also Kingdom kickstarted Come. that one. Game. Okay. It is. Um, it's supposed oh, to be f- like 
a giant open world medieval game. So um, I guess the best now. way to think about it would be think Skyrim mixed with The Witcher. Like The Witcher what is jam packed with all the stuff, but Skyrim's open world, which no, hopefully dude. won't be zombies. And just the most like largest freaking systems for everything. And the depth of that game looks incredible. So yeah, that that is. Oh fun. man! If there was a Han Dynasty version of this, my head would explode. <laughs> there might be. You never there know. M- yeah, yeah. You know that is probably something. Like, I mean, this is the Middle Ages. That's pretty freaking. You know, awesome with the whole knights and shit. Yeah. But I mean, you know, you got to wait and see what they, how much money they get out of that. You know, because if they get a yeah, lot of money out of that, they're gonna make you know different civilizations, different stuff. So I'd love for them to make like if they it'd be a challenge. It probably that it would take decades to make, but. Like an online game like this where each server you join is a different place. It's like you join like the EU server and you be in the EU. If you join the Chinese server, you'd be in China, but in that time. But that'd be a ping. Wow. You know, there's more people than ping just playing the game. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good though. Um, yeah, I know, but like, I, th- I still think that'd be kind of, of a cool thing to do. Mm. That would be interesting. That would I be expensive. Want, I, just, I just want a giant Han Dynasty game where you get to run in amongst millions of people. Mm. That's called Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. K- kind of. Not, not so much that you're the crazy badass who just is swinging a sword through loads of like minion level soldiers. I mean, like you're one amongst many. Yeah, but... Then you gotta remember, like, how the hell are you gonna do that? Because AI is not up to snuff. It depends. And then, how it, and, then how it is. and then, you know, if you want to do that with players, it's freaking impossible because holy shit, the net code, man. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that would be like a super, super new version of like a mount and blade kind of thing where you run in with people and you're kind of at the same level they are in a way. Mm-hmm. Kind yeah, of I that. I think that's the idea of it. A new uh, one that that new. And speaking of other Kickstarter games, I really hope that Super Hot is as awesome when it comes out as a full game as it is. Super yeah. hot, super hot. Yeah, I want that to be a thing. Yeah, me too. Like the promos have you cutting bullets in half with a katana, so <laughs> that's a positive thing. Yeah. Did somebody say Oddcast? I found. I actually found out something. Uh, I think we. Found the biggest douchebag on Kickstarter. Really? Oh, and he lives in Norwich, where I'm studying right now, which is really, <laughs> cre- which is really creepy. This guy is, uh, I guess, like a super hipster-looking person. Okay. And he's like, he wants to go on dates, and he with like ladies. So yeah. he's like, he's basically said, "Oh well, I've done the statistics, and it says that you usually find someone that you would date a second time after you've been on 13 different dates. So basically he's said that he thinks it would be a hundred pounds per good date to take someone on. So he's kickstartering for 13 grand so that he can just date 13 women. So he's kickstarting, <laughs> he's kickstarting his dating life. Yeah. And he's, he's basically admitted that he's willing to just throw away 14, uh, throw away 12 women. <laughs> He's so such an he's asshole. averaged it out that he needs to get at least like at least fourteen women on a date. Yeah, and he's going to spend a hundred pounds on them each for like that the whole night. Is kind of awesome. But yeah, but he's like he's not doing it for any other reason than he wants to just go. He's like I want to make statistics a kick- in a creepy way. I want to make a Kickstarter that's just help me get rich. <laughs> I'm sure someone would. I'm sure I, I mean, wonder why no one has actually done like I'm I'm guessing like a million people have thought of doing it and just been like, ha, ah, that would have been fun, but no one's actually gone in and went like help me become rich by just <laughs> giving me your money for absolutely no work. That's called or- Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, Ooh. The burn. Can you hear that? There's a fire going. Crackly, crackly, crackly. Hang on. 
Now that's I'm just fire, okay. That's my fire sound effect. Okay, let's let's pitch some really, really okay. Like, oh, it's a good idea, yeah. let's pitch Kickstarter ideas for any anyone who's listening and wants to do this, and then credit us with everything and I've send us money. Idea. Send us all the money. Just I've all got a good idea. Uh, not all of it. Here's my one. Seventy five percent. Yeah. Okay. That's that's a fair deal. Here's my here's my Kickstarter. My my shit starter. Let's say. Yeah. Um, let's say my dental hygiene is bad, and I want it to get better. If people can give me money on Kickstarter, each time money is donated, I will brush my teeth once. And once I reach a certain amount of money, my dental hygiene will improve, and <laughs> then I'll be I'll have a healthy mouth. Then you will no longer have gum pain. Yeah, and also uh, I just convince people to pay me to brush my teeth. Yeah, you know, it's a legitimate... Yep. Uh, it's a legitimate uh, yeah. idea. Legitimate idea. <laughs> legitimate. Okay, what's your legitimate shit starter idea, Mets? Um Well, I'm, I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. Okay. So uh, I'm going to throw it over to John. Yeah. All right. Um, my legitimate kick shitter idea... <laughs> Kickstarter. Or no, yeah. shit starter. It should be shit starter. Uh, yeah. I like I like Kickstarter as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh God, it's hard to think of one now that the South Park ones come out. Yeah, I know. It's hard. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you if I raise one thousand dollars, I will drive to someone's house and kick them in the nuts. <laughs> you will not have any say in the matter unless you k- pledge at least $1,000 yourself, in which case I will drive to your house and kick you in the nuts. Wow. But if you pledge $10,000, I will drive to someone else's house that you choose and kick them in the nuts. <laughs> which is mm-hmm. basically being a nut hitman. <laughs> yep. <laughs> a nut man. <laughs> And if I get no bucks, I'll kick everyone in the balls. <laughs> if you um, donate one dollar to show my appreciation, I'll send you a boot to kick <laughs> yourself in the nuts with. My name so is, you're uh, going to spend yeah. more on boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just got to buy them bulk. Yeah, I'm only true. sending a single boot. Yeah. One singular boot. <laughs> yep. Uh, I just like the idea of this as a career. I was like, my name is uh, Dick Sledge. I'm a professional nut man. <laughs> Can I say how awesome by the time he's Dick done Sledges? by the time I'm done with him he'll wish he didn't have balls mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah but what are like okay so it's it's a kickstarter for nut pu- yep. nut kicking basically you'd have you would have yes. to change your name to Dick Sledge though because Dick Sledge is an yeah but name. like I mean I mean what is what is the goal of the kicks of the shit starter Except <laughs> kicking people in the butt. Like, what is what what is the final money mark? How much do you need in total? To, disco- and, to discover, it's and, a research grant, right? To discover the ultimate technique for ball yeah. kicking. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I need so one million dollars to accomplish this goal. Okay, so it's it's a uh, it's a technology uh, technology type then. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I like um, it. Well, uh, my my shit starter <laughs> has been very thoroughly thought through. Okay. Which means I'm literally just coming up with something off of the top of my head. Of course. Yes. And uh, my shit starter would basically involve me taking pictures of myself gr- slowly growing a half-assed beard. And then eventually... <laughs> I will shave it off, and the rewards are as follows: for every ten dollar, you get a picture, like a a picture of me uh, as a hard print copy is sent, <laughs> and it will just be a picture of me. You will not know what part of my body it will be, if it even involves the beard. Maybe it's just a picture of the lower end of my back or the upper, for that matter. There's yep. hair there too. Uh, but <laughs> either way, that's that's the ten dollar one. Could be a butt. Could be an elbow. You won't be able to tell. <laughs> exactly. Could be my vagina. 
<laughs> Either well, way, that's that's ten dollars. That's yep. Yeah, a um, hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. You get a T-shirt with parts of my beard glued to it. <laughs> like with like with glue gun glue, so it's like really thick and like splattered around. <laughs> it's just it's just the hair glued in patches on the T-shirt. And then, for a thousand dollars, I'll fly you out to touch my beard. I Dude. will not. I will not pay uh, for your hotel or or getting to here from the airport. But I'll pay your flight in, and then you have to figure it out from there. <laughs> <laughs> you just fly someone to like Oslo International, and they just don't pick them up. Yeah. You have to guess where you are. Exactly. <laughs> And you could leave single hairs like glued up like, like and You'll know hair. who's picking you up because he's got a shirt with beard stuck to it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then And then they, when they get to your house, there's just like a pedestal with one of those got like, glass lid things on it. Yeah. And your beard is just pristinely in there and the light shines from behind. Like, I'm not even attached to it. It's just you walk, yeah. You like off. you walk, you walk in, lift off the thing, and you kind of like go <laughs> back into your face. I made a fake beard of my own beard, is what you're saying. I've done. <laughs> yeah, and the then thing. Get, I wear it. I wear it, and then I take it off my face, put it on a pedestal inside a glass box, close the lid on it, yeah. and then let people touch the glass box. Dude, that's- <laughs> That's like a that's like an episode of um, the Twilight Zone. <laughs> like, what is this, insanity? this would be a new amazing. Twilight Zone episode. Okay, this is the Twilight Zone episode that this is about. This Kickstarter thing happens, and there's like a, a beard fetishist who pays you ten thousand krona dollar pounds to go to. <laughs> no, 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 it was just a thousand. It was just a thousand. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Just, what, what's your end monetary goal episode. for this? Well, My the end, end, uh, yeah, no. and the end of the episode is that he gets there. And it's like, it's not even a real beard. And it's like, no! <laughs> it once was. It once was. <laughs> okay. No, the end monetary goal. The end monetary goal is uh, 250 bucks. And uh, that would literally involve just me having a beard. 200 It was 250 bucks. You may donate more than $1,000, but oh, 250 bucks is the end goal. goal. And it would just literally be that I have a beard now. <laughs> like, I have it. And even before I start the Kickstarter, I would just have a beard. Uh, From before, okay. and then I just let it grow slightly more, take some pictures, and then I just have more beard. Okay, I like <laughs> that. Until I eventually create the amazing <laughs> museum of my beard in a case. And then you charge admission. <laughs> and admission oh, is God. 40 bucks. And it's right. literally just a shed with... <laughs> A glass box with my beard inside it, and you may only touch the box once, <laughs> and then you leave. That no cult? pictures. That's sort of cult. I think that shit starter should be a recurring segment on this podcast because I love that, this. That sounds reasonable. I think for this episode, though, we should do some. We should do a few more. Like when we actually do proper ones, we'll have. Everything you have to do for a Kickstarter, like all the reward goals and our pitch and everything, yeah. but it's for something shit. But for now, I think we should come up with a few more. I think mine should be um, Wait, to I'm, end... Okay, I'm, I'm on Kickstarter, and at the end of this episode, we will start a project. <laughs> all right. Oh, no. And it will be the worst culmination of our ideas. And it will be fabulous, and it will be legitimate. <laughs> and wait, actually, because I'm not in America, <laughs> I'm. Could someone else do it? No, I'm not fucking doing that. Well, but okay. I, I can't because I'm not in America. Like then I'd have to go to Indiegogo, and then we lose the joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we need to think about like, a potential. Oh uh, wait, wait. 
There's actually a Kickstarter I need to show you really quick if I can find okay. it. Dude, if um, we ended up if we ended up featured on Kotaku because of this, I would fucking find you. <laughs> <laughs> and I would I would end your beard. But since you already got the Kickstarter money back, it wouldn't matter, would it? Yeah, wait. I'm okay, so I'm trying to log in with Facebook, but then I I'll probably need an American address. Okay, so I'm in with Facebook. Uh okay. I don't really have to do anything. Okay, in that case, I'll start a Kickstarter campaign. Okay. Start a project. Shit starts a campaign. And uh, we haven't we haven't found what it's in. Uh, so we'll need to find out. We need also to establish the category of our shit starter. And uh, go from there. Oh. Okay. Oh, I think I got shut down. That's sad. Oh. What was it? Um, it was a holographic projector Kickstarter. Okay. Oh, nice. But it was <laughs> it was completely absolutely fake. Like it was not even close. <laughs> um all the people who were working on it were stock photographs. <laughs> they were they wanted one million dollars to make this thing real. Okay. <laughs> and the best part is the sort of things that they said about it. Like, um, hold on, I gotta see if I can actually find it on the archives. Um, That's amazing. Can I kick starter Hollow Vision. I believe this is the one. Hollow Vision. Um, amazing. Like, no, uh, I mean, I mean, we're not gonna make a fake idea. We're gonna make something that we would actually do. I something need, I ridiculously need, I some dumb that we could do. Just not being like, okay, we'll make space. I've got one. Guys, I've got an idea. Okay. Okay. My Kickstarter is for research, development, and production funds for a universal phone charger. Right? But yeah. it's a new design, so it doesn't fit any plugs on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this four prong thing? Oh, that's the plug. <laughs> Yeah, it's, hasn't got, caught up yet. it's got like it's got like four prongs and the middle plug is like a smiley face and you like you plug it in <laughs> but it doesn't plug into anything. So then everyone has to buy an adapter, which then is another Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically all you're saying is we're buying a little bit of copper wire and then doing nothing. Yeah. Basically. Yep, and then it leads to another Kickstarter of you have to buy an adapter as well. So it's it's completely pointless. Actually, I've <laughs> but got. Have, but then we'd have to be able to create that adapter. Which that, might that's work. the point. But yeah, but we'd get paid for that too, so that's okay. That's I true. actually have product here, which ties into our sponsor for this episode. Oh, okay. Oh, play sure. the ad, and then this is the advertisement. Are you tired of phone calls interrupting your work? Too hung up over hanging up on friends and family? Well, worry no longer. Introducing the IOTO brand phone. No longer do you have to worry about listening to your loved ones beg for you to come home from work. Now every time you pick up the receiver, you get any number of soulless messages that won't distract you from your job. Choose between common favorites like get back to work and put down that phone or you're fired or thousands more. For only 12 easy payments of $200, you too can own an IOTO brand phone. But wait, there's more. If you call now, we're slashing the monthly payments in half. That's right. If you call now, it's a mere $100 a month for 24 months. Our operator invites your order now, so call the number on the screen and get back to work. This product not yet approved for use outside of criminal facilities. Any reports of loan messaging are false and subject to purging. Constant use may result in bleeding from the eyes, ears, and mouth. This is not our fault. <laughs> Intended uses without taking it out of the box. Therefore, any other use is not intended and not legally our responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was amazing. My favorite thing about it? <laughs> my favorite, my favorite thing about it is that the products, the product's name is phone. It's just a phone, fact that, you know. Yep. Yeah, and and that you know, cutting the prices in half was literally just spreading it out over twice the amount of time. I love it. I I love hey, it. Hey, don't mock our sponsor. <clears throat> yeah, that was perfect <laughs> advertising right there, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and something that, we that's, could do. That's the new Kickstarter. <laughs> What does this phone do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Is... How much are you going to pay for it? Two hundred dollars <clears throat> a month for a, a month. year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
That's sixteen hundred dollars. <throat> you get the privilege. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Oh my god. That made me happy. Sixteen hundred. Twenty four hundred. Jesus. Yeah. Oh god. Oh yeah. Wait. Uh it's fucking crazy. Yeah, okay. So let's come up with shit starters. Okay. <clears throat> my, I'm sorry, my throat I, I, I is I really bad. like my that's okay, dude. I really like my um, universal plug that isn't universal. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. No, it, it is universal. It's just the universe hasn't caught up. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah, basically. Or yeah. it's in just the, universally the, yeah. bad. It's universal in the world line that split off when I invented this thing. <laughs> it's universal <laughs> in that alternate world line. Not this one. Okay, so let's, I did those see, other guys can, let's see if we can come up with something that takes slightly less effort. <laughs> uh, okay how about a cat shelter where we shelter no cats like okay. literally just a place where cats aren't allowed <laughs> cool uh, <I> <laughs> yeah. alright All right. Yeah, so I mean we that need... sounds like my house already <laughs> yeah so for ten dollars uh, we basically put we put up a small fence, a small one, one that cats can jump. Like an inch. A great, a uh, a small wire mesh. Yeah. Yeah, it's inch. And hard. then for a hundred dollars, we put slightly more fence up. Brilliant. And then at when we reach our end goal of two hundred fifty thousand million dollars. Thousand million. We we cover it in sperm. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we do a coney and just like once we've got our money, we jack off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ooh, it has to be in San Diego. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh man, I love it. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and we convince people to like uh, send put out flyers uh, saying ca- like ca- no cats allowed, and we just like shitstorm the world, and we get our money and jack off. Yep, that seems reasonable. Yeah, or or okay, more ideas. <laughs> Call it Kitty Twenty Twelve. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, I got it. All right, for one hundred dollars, we will show you what it looks like to make it rain. Okay. Just Using your get, $100. Get the $100, convert it to $1 bills, make it rain. Make a <laughs> video, send it to whoever donated the $100. <laughs> For $1,000, we'll do the same thing, but with $100 bills. <laughs> <laughs> and if we get $1 million, we'll send out a video to everybody using $1,000 bills. <laughs> and if we get $1 billion... There's no, we'll none there's of no that denomination shit. that big, I think. We'll not do that shit. We'll just show, if we you, get a $1 billion, we'll show you a picture of a billion dollars in a suitcase. No, no, no. We'll get the billion dollars. Then yeah. we'll Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> we'll fill a swimming pool with well, $1 course. billion dollars and film ourselves swimming in it. <laughs> That's okay. impossible. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. It's like that Family Guy where he just crumples. Would be like the jumping on concrete. Yeah. No, it's, you don't jump in it. You just like slip in it and then just sort of swim through like, the dollar bills. Like a hot bath. Mm. Mm? Yeah, it, it could totally work. <laughs> so oh, we'll call this an, an art project. Yeah, I guess. And yeah, it's, and it's make it. The name is just make it rain. Yes. Uh, if for ten dollar, if we get ten dollars, we will. Make it rain and fan ourselves with the ten dollar bills. Cool. Yeah. The end goal is one billion dollars. Yeah. Cool. I like it. It's a good idea. If it's we a get a billion idea. dollars, we'll buy a mansion next to Notches and swim in his swimming pool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like Notches' house. It's like two of them, just another stacked on top of it. Yeah, it's the we'll, same we'll just buy the space next to it, it yeah. and build the exact same place. Yeah, we'll build the same place, but the second floor will be the same 
house just again. <laughs> okay, I have I have uh, a proposal. I okay. think this is a thing. Wait, let me check. It was not okay. Well, forget that then. Uh, <laughs> but what uh, what we could do as a photography project. We could ask for money where we take literally the worst photos of very well-known places around the world <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and send them to people in zip folders. <laughs> so our end goal is to be able to travel, which would be $100 million. <laughs> yep. Of course. And for $10... You get the high resolution pictures. For a hundred dollars, you get low res pictures printed on t shirt. So basically, <laughs> just a compilation of random poor resolution images. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all really <laughs> aliased and like blurry. <laughs> yeah. And for a thousand dollars, no, wait, for a hundred and fifty dollars, we need to add this shit. Uh, you get, uh, you get a, a t shirt and a hat with uh, low resolution pictures and for $200 <laughs> you get low res pictures in a zip folder with the t-shirt and the hat and for $500 which is the highest I don't want to go to a thousand this time but for $500 you get to see a dot png of the pictures <laughs> in the just the <laughs> lowest possible like just a small small version of the picture which is basically <laughs> less than a millimeter uh in uh diameter <laughs> sounds good yep sounds right. good yeah uh look, what else is there oh I here's think an idea i oh uh, i was gonna do you want to go okay yeah okay. okay so here's my pitch for kickstarter Okay. Or shit starter. <laughs> shit starter. Um, yeah. we, we, I keep forgetting that. Um, <laughs> for $10, <laughs> I will buy a hamburger and eat it. And I will tell you how good the hamburger was. <laughs> okay. Well, so people pay you to review a fast food product? Just, no, just any food I want. I will just <laughs> buy it, food. eat it. And tell you if it was good or not. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm down with it. For a hundred dollars, I will do the exact same thing, but this time I'll take a picture of the food <laughs> after I finished eating it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important because at five hundred dollars I'll take a picture of the food before I start eating it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then at one thousand dollars, I will take a little bit of the food and very, very small amount of the food, put it in a plastic bag and ship it to you <laughs> without any sort of freezing or anything. <laughs> does it does it also include international shipping? No, that's uh one thousand fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, the end goal is $3 million. Okay. And if I reach my end goal, I will go to a fancy restaurant in New York and take a picture of the restaurant before I eat the food there. <laughs> well, that and is... That, that, is my, that is my Kickstarter. Cool. Sounds good. I, like I was I w the original goal was going to be people pay me to travel around the world and eat, but then I realized that's a television show. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't just book it, podcast it. So, what have you guys been watching recently? Uh, Steins Gate. Hmm. It's really good. Yeah. I'd recommend it. Have you guys? Do you guys know about Steins Gate? Uh, no, but uh, I know. about Yes, seen it I yet. vaguely know about it. No. Okay. Gonna see it, but I anime review segment. Da, da, that's, our, that's our jingle. Um, <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so it's basically this guy who's a self proclaimed mad scientist who just is obsessed with 
having that image to his own name, really, uh, and his friends accidentally invent a microwave phone that sends text messages back through time. And the repercussions of this is that if you send a text message to someone back in time, they will read that and it will give them information, which means they might not go to that place that they were going to be on that day. And it alters the future in ways that you can't predict. Mm. Oh, yeah. it's, it's really good. And there's loads of like personal stuff that's mixed in with that as well. And the science is really cool. And it references the John Teter uh, conspiracy thing from a few years ago. It's fucking awesome. I'd recommend it. That's cool. Yeah. And I've also been watching Psychopaths. Which oh. is by the same people, presumably. Yeah. I don't know if it is, but... Um, I think it is. It's like, does, it have an, a, does it have a semicolon in the name? No. No. Okay. It's not like the same series or anything. It's like a separate thing. That's very cool, because it's... Um, okay. Wait, who so does not, Psychopaths again? I don't, I'll hang on, I'll find out. Because um, uh, I know the Steinsgate people, everything they do has an apostrophe, has a semicolon in the name. Yeah. Like yes. uh, Chaos Head, Robotics Notes. There's another. Oh, I can't remember one. Um, yes, yeah, Psychopaths is produced by Production IG. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, that's really cool. It's set in some kind of like utopian future that's too perfect. Yeah. Of course. And, yep. And everything's run by something called the Sybil System, which is this uh, like ultra super like friendly skynet that's really creepy and the idea is that um there's a u a new unit of measurement uh that's to do with mental stability called a psychopath psychopaths or psychopaths whatever and um everyone has one built into their mind that constantly updates the civil system with the uh quality or state of their psyche yeah and you know, people go through school and their tests and everything tells them what job they're going to have for the rest of their life. Everyone has to stay green so that there's no murders and there's no war and there's no chaos. But sometimes, uh, like, if someone goes into, like, goes from green to, like, yellow, they're called a latent criminal and they're, like, kept under watch by the police for the rest of their life because they might commit a crime or they're, they're potentially unstable. And those people are hired by the police to uh, find crazy people, because to find a crazy person, you have to be one, that kind of thing. Oh, like, that's Han- like Hannibal Lecter cops, basically. And the idea is that they find people whose psychopaths is red, people who've got insane, crazy murderers and things like that, and they find them and either shoot them with a stun gun and put them into rehabilitation, or they, like, Akira, ex- they shoot them with a gun that Akira explodes them. <clears throat> and it's about basically how they're hunting down these crazy people as um, they're also trying to like look at the philosophy and morality of the world they're living in, saying like, yeah, but you know, the fact that we don't think on our own is the reason that everything's like it is, and why it's bad. And it's kind of like a cop show that has this kind of conspiracy that's going behind it, and it's pretty rocking. I really like it. Yeah, I really okay. like. The, I really like the first season. I haven't finished the second season yet. I. I started it well. I was watching it when during release days, but then I think at episode like nine, I just like, ooh. and then I didn't have no. I didn't have time, and then I got bored, and I, you know, it happens. You're at that point where you're too bored to not be bored anymore. Yeah. Do you have your new? Do you have your good computer yet, or are you still using your laptop? Laptop. Me. Oh, yeah. me, me. All the way, laptop. My it's gaming, terrible. my gaming PC's finished. Uh, by the way, it's fixed finally. Is it? Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. So in Easter holiday, we'll be able to do some recording finally. Woo! Yeah, and I'll be able to talk about my Japan holiday. Yeah, do that. Uh, that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's what have you been watching? I can't remember if you talked. Uh, I, I, I didn't. Uh well <clears throat> I've been I've been heavily into children's animation like uh movies like like everything and I remember none of them <laughs> because I and this is no freaking joke every single movie is the same Except that the main, like the the main thing that happens in the movie is the same, like the same morals, the same everything, like 
we should all be friends, everything should be nice and happy, happy people. But the way it leads up to it is just vastly weird every time. And then the adult jokes that really don't fit in. Because every (laughs) single movie is like, you know, it's written by an adult with an adult view of the world. And it, as a child, you would understand none of it. Nothing. <laughs> you just see pretty colors and then, yay, everyone is happy. <laughs> and then as, as an adult, you're just sitting there going like, but he's an asshole. That guy was a dick. Why does he get the, the woman or whatever? He's, he's a dick. He just killed him. And, you know... What? I don't... Eh. And that is my yeah. reaction every time I watch one of the movies. It's just like, but he's a <laughs> dick. He, what? And, you know, especially movies... And, I, and I've seen, like, a lot of... A, th- a lot of things, you know, how... You know how Hollywood views itself? Oh, God, yeah. Because, like, whenever there's, like, a star or something, they're always just like... Eh, with, like, people just always wanting to like crave their attention and that stuff. Yeah. And then you, and then you think about how it really is. And you're just like, no one cares that much except maybe a stalker. And then you think that, wait, is Hollywood just literally full of people that think that everyone wants to stalk them? And then you start thinking that apparently it is because it's in so many movies. And these are people who know or should know how it works. So are people really that crazy? And then I, you know, over the last few weeks, I've started to realize more and more that people are batshit insane. Well, so that's what yes. I've been watching. No, but I mean, like, more in a the general slow decline, sense. The slow decline of your happiness and uh, contentment with the world? Yeah, I've basically become slightly more of a cynic. Slightly. Slightly. You know, I was I was pretty hardcore into cynicism before, but now I think I'm, I'm I think I'm starting to truly hate humanity in a different way. Uh, I think is it, it's good. It's you're new. Really coming to, you're really coming into your own as a uh, misanthropist. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I'm starting to feel at home in my views of hating people of the world and just well, hating good. and hating everyone. Equally, but not equal uh, in, you know, the amount some people actually crave my hate. Wow. For example, Kanye West, who is just oh God. a dick. Mm. Have you ever played the Kanye West text, uh, Twitter game? No, I want to. What is it? It's, uh, it's a little Flash game. I think it was actually made by the same people who made the Stanley Parable. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Twitter game. I still yeah, don't understand how people like Kanye West's music. I've Neither. listened to it. It's not fantastic. It anyway, makes no sense. Anyway, no. Uh, the game is you play as Kanye West on Twitter. Yeah. And the goal is to get as many followers as possible by tweeting as much insane shit as possible. Life in the West. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Great title. Wow. Great title. And then, like, every so often, he'll just go, Yatta! and then you just have to slam your keyboard until the tweet <laughs> finishes, and then you press it. Wait, he, he okay, shouts so, Yatta, like Japanese, like, Yatta? Basically, yeah, like, inspiration, and he just tweets. Yeah. Oh, stuff. Jesus, it said Yatta. Oh, God. Yeah. The music. Just slam, your key- fucking... just slam your keyboard until you finish tweeting, and then press enter to tw- send it. It's fucking okay, weird. Wait, I, no, shit. I, okay, wait, 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 wait. Holy crap, it's loud in my air. God. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I, I turned off sound because it was way too fucking loud. Okay, yeah, so so I'm gonna write uh I'm gonna write No, it, it, it tweets for you. Oh okay. Like literally just slam on your keyboard. This is a stream of consciousness I want you guys to know and feel where my head is at. Tweet that shit, press enter. Oh, okay. And you get more points the faster you tweet it out. And then you can buy uh, <clears throat> followers with the tweets. I can buy followers? Yeah, it should be over on the left side. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, tweet that shit, presenter. Okay, so how do I buy people? 
like uh, on the left, I think. It should have a bunch of potential followers, and then you press the thing to spend your points to buy them. Aren't they all my followers? I thought they were my followers. Not yet, they aren't. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, inspiration hit, and I'm not... Oh, God, no. Classical <laughs> music is tight, yo. Really? Is that... How the hell is... Oh, who to follow? Okay, so I can follow people? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's followers. below. Okay, wait. I ordered the salmon medium instead of medium while I didn't want to ruin the... What? <laughs> no fucking clue. I'm going to follow fake uh, Kanye with all my points. There. I got inspiration, <clears throat> and I hate when I'm on a flight and wake up with a water bottle next to me, and I'm great now I got a respons- responsible for this water bottle. <laughs> Yeah, I'm following Bulbasaur. I followed <laughs> Bulbasaur. And now I'm going to follow random numbers. No, wait, actually, no. Inspiration hit. And I'm going to sometimes I get emotional over fonts. Apparently, he doesn't like Comic Sans that much. I mean, that that's fair. Yeah. I don't Have either. Have you seen Comic oh, Sans? Inspiration hit again. And uh, don't you hate when people clap too loud in the car? It's like, yo, this is a closed area. Your clapping is way too loud. Ha 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 ha. Okay, no, this is... This is making me hate myself. I have 300... No, okay, no, I'm quitting before I hit 400,000. <laughs> that, was, that was the most depressing thing I've ever, I've ever played. And That's all, Kanye West. Okay, now let's, let's go back to shit starter. I think... <laughs> well, well, first, I, I just want to bring up one show that I've been watching. Yeah, very, okay, yeah. Um, It's a show called Yuri Kuma Arashi. Okay. What's it called? Yuri Kuma Arashi. Okay. It is a show about lesbian bears. Wonderful. What? Okay, hang on. I am not... I, it's an oversimplification, go, 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 go. but that's, that's, that's pretty accurate to what it's about. Yuri Kuma Arashi. I found it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm on my anyway. anime list. Kuma means bear, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, um, so the show you. starts talking about how a planet exploded... And then the piece of the planet rained down and made the bears into intelligent bears that eat people. Okay. So it, the obvious reaction to this is the humans all built a gigantic wall that reaches up to, like, the stratosphere to keep the bears out. No, they're not giant bears. They're just normal bears. But anyway, so that's the basic premise of the show. And then two bears managed to sneak in. Well, several bears, but two bears managed to sneak in by disguising themselves as humans. <laughs> Sounds like shamanism. Yeah. So anyway, the bears sneak in. They start eating people. And then the last five minutes of the episode, uh, I, mm, um, let me think of the best way to describe it because it's actually quite difficult. Uh <laughs> The um <clears throat> the bears appear before a court of this is like a dream sequence, like in a dream sequence type thing, two bears the two bears appear before a court of people, like three bear men, and declare that they will in fact eat people, and in doing so they gain the ability to become human looking, and then they start licking a flower that's growing out of another girl's chest while naked. And then that's the end of the episode, pretty much. Um, so like, I'm looking at sense. I'm looking at the artwork for like the poster of it, and it looks really cutesy. But judging by the fact that people are being eaten, this sounds dark. I mean, as fuck. The, there's never like any directly on-screen guts and gore stuff, but it's implied. I, that's still really it, fucked it's up. It's not even implied. It's like there's two bears eating people. You can hear the sounds, but there's no like guts and gore. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's like uh, Full Metal Alchemist when uh, Lightning kills somebody. Okay. Um, let's see. Another show is uh, this one's actually this one's slightly better. It's okay. called The Rolling Girls. I've heard of that. What is that? Um, well, it rings a bell. Yeah. Well, when I first read the description, it's like Damn, four girls basically okay. form a bike group. Okay. And so my initial thought was going to be. Oh, it's basically K-On, but with motorcycles, right? <laughs> yeah. But instead, what it is, is it's basically post-apocalyptic Japan, except instead of becoming a blasted hellscape, it's one of those apocalypses where life goes on afterwards, except everyone is crazy. Like a Kira. So, um, well, not, not, not like that, but like, 
every, life goes on as normal for the most part, but every so often you've got people with giant robots fighting each other. This sounds fucking amazing. It, yeah. It's actually quite fun because... Um, I'm going to check this out. It's not by Trigger, but it looks like it's by Trigger. Okay. It, yeah, like the art style looks great. I like the fact that the lines are gray. I think that's cool. Yeah, anyway, it's a yeah. fun show. And that it's sounds cool. suitably over the top. It I'll sounds that ridiculous. I'm going to check it out. Worth a watch. Speaking yes. of ridic- speaking of absolutely ridiculous, I've just opened Jaden Smith's Twitter to see what he's been up to recently. Oh, what? oh. okay, January twentieth. I don't smell good, but I don't smell bad. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jaden Smith. Fuck? I do not feel you. In fact, I so I have no idea what that means. I have no clue what it means. I never. I don't know my scent. I yeah. literally have no clue of about what I smell like because I'm immune to my own scent because I'm covered in it literally all day. Yeah. You can't smell like your own... despair and alcohol. Yeah, you can smell yeah. your own smell when you need to do the laundry. Yeah, but... <laughs> that's, like when, that. that's like an intense version, which is bad levels. If our eyes are real... No, wait, what was it? How can it's we like, know our can we, eyes how are can real? We know it? How can we know if anything is real if our eyes aren't real or something stupid like that? I, I like Liam Neeson so much I could watch him beat up a phone book. Okay, I, I mean could that's fair. Too. That. <laughs> he's, okay, he's done this thing. It's in big font, and it's you know how he types every word with a capital letter. Yeah, it just says it's okay to cry, guys. That's what it says. Really? <laughs> but then also, so but, also but but but. but a day before he he tweeted, "I'm too emotional for all that relationship stuff." <laughs> so what the fuck? That, that's a contradictory. So is, is Jaden Smith Twitter a new segment? Why not? <clears throat> Why not? Just, just saw Birdman. Shit was dope. Fuck you. <laughs> no, that's no. I'm, that's mean. I don't mean it. But uh, well, I just scrolled through my tweets and I started laughing. Live in your podcast. Play in ours. I saw Magic Mike. I have no clue what oh. that movie was about. <laughs> I just seen. Okay, I just no, seen like Wendy's. literally, no, like I saw that movie and it was okay. So, ma- like, here's the thing: Magic Mike as the main character was confusing because he wasn't the main character, but then he was. And then, so was it like um, one of those movies where they're talking about the guy for most of the movie? No, no, no. He was in most of the movie, but the movie wasn't supposed to be about Magic Mike. Like, he was just supposed to be an introductory character <clears throat> for the actual main character, which was the kid, which no one knows the name of because he was mentioned, like, five times and was only in, like, four scenes of the movie. But he and, like, he was he was this weird kid who had no prospect, in, like, in life. Who was terrible at everything, didn't have a proper job or school or whatever. And then he went on and became a stripper. And then he was a stripper for a while. And then Magic Mike just quit and started dating his sister. Like, not Magic Mike's sister, but the kid's sister. Okay. And then, you know, the moral was... Date a stripper? (laughs) I don't don't know. Uh, but I first heard about Magic Mike when I read a v- review of it, but the review was sarcastic, saying how the entire movie was about how strippers were magical. <laughs> <laughs> and the problem was, I wasn't sure if they were joking or not, because it sounded like an amazing movie with magic male strippers. Yeah. Like that that like, would have been better. Like they're stripper magicians? Basically, like the the act of stripping off grants them their magic powers. I, mean, I think that there should be a Conan movie that just it's like that. That's how they defeat the bad guy. Just getting more naked. Uh, well, but they're all ladies because that's. <laughs> I've seen it. I've too seen late. It. I've seen, seen it. it. I've seen it in shows. It happens. Conan well, no, is basically I... that already, though. So yeah. like... But it's too late. I've seen everything. I've, I've seen, seen it all. I yeah, I love that. Oh my god, extras, man. <laughs> extras is great. I wish that show was on Netflix or something. I cannot find more it's probably than on, I think it's on Netflix. 
It's on Britain. Is Netflix, it? Probably. Well, it's, a, Brit- oh, it's, it's on Britain Netflix. It's an English show, so it's going to be. Right. Yeah. It's, okay, it's, I've, I've got an idea. Uh, how about we, for another segment, we talk about a movie that we saw recently? Uh, <laughs> I, I've seen, like, the last time I watched a movie in theaters was Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, not just that. I mean, some, something new you've seen then, because you got Netflix, so. I, not just, like, a new release. Maybe something that you hadn't seen before. Hmm. Uh, if not if not now then like next time <laughs> okay I'll try and find okay. something to watch because I uh, saw uh, Big Hero 6 recently oh I want to watch that I've it, heard it's really good it's it's absolutely amazing we saw it at a pre-screening we met the director and the producer oh that's yeah. fancy I met Don Hall and uh, Roy Conley and they're both amazing people we had like a Q&A session and stuff because we paid out the butt to go to this thing. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, I, I definitely recommend that movie. Absolutely incredible film. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, but um, on a more like serious note, I watched The Railway Man last night, if anyone's seen that. Nope. nope. I would recommend that too. That's super heavy and really good. Makes sense. Oh, Actually, one movie I did watch <laughs> recently, I just, I just remembered. Uh, because the series is over, I recently decided it would be a good idea to watch um, Naruto Road to Ninja. <laughs> Best title. Oh, well, it, it's Japanese. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's the movie where, at the very beginning of the movie, basically, they get sucked into an alternate dimension where everything is lightly changed. Okay. So all the characters basically have their opposite personalities. And it's just right. a cute little movie. Like, his parents are still alive. Oh, so it's not this. serious then. It's like a parody of itself. Uh, to some extent. Like, um, okay. I don't know how well you know any of the characters, but there's the one guy who has a dog, and he spends most of the movie, whenever he's in it, talking about how much he loves cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I'm down with it. That sounds like a fun movie. That's silly, and I like silly. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a fun thing. Like, I have read all of Naruto, so watching this thing happen was really fun to, for me. Mm. Yeah. And then the uh, the series is over now, so the final movie is coming up, which shows their life basically post the series. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a cool way to wrap it up. Yeah, so I'm going to actually have to watch that. And then the final game is also going to be released at some point, which promises to be giant over-the-top action. <clears throat> Okay, that sounds wonderful. Yes, mm. yes, it does. Yes. Uh. Absolutely. Whoa. Mr. Otter. I know what I'm doing. It could be our cast. Anderson. Tom Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. That's going to be very hard when you can't speak. I think you almost like it takes even longer. That's gonna be really hard when you can't speak. <laughs> he takes yeah, like, twice twice as long to say everything. Yeah. By that by that point Neo's walked out as I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, I left the stove running, can I <laughs> Yeah. I have I have a job. I have dealings. <laughs> I mean I mean, here's the thing, though. I mean, when they came looking for him, he hadn't made contact with Morpheus until he, like, until literally the second they were there. He had not been in direct contact with Morpheus. Uh, uh, no, didn't didn't he get a message from Trinity or something? Yeah, he got a message from Tr- Trinity, but <laughs> Trinity. they were yeah, but they were looking for Morpheus. They didn't even know Trinity existed. They were just, they're like, we believe you have been in contact with one of the most dangerous people in the world. Well, it's like. That was just that. And then, Morphia. 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 He's like, Morphia. He sounds like like the Red Letter Media guy, like. We believe you've been in contact with one of the most dangerous people on the planet, Mr. Morpheus. 
Mr. Anderson, <laughs> you're the most disappointing person since my son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and since he's gone and hung himself in the bathroom, <laughs> the unfortunate truth is these movies can't aren't going away. They can't be undone. They're We're going here. To be here forever. 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 I just, I showed, I just have to say, and I'm so glad that Scottish actor, Ewan McDonald, was playing Obi Wan Kenobi in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that guy so much. Have you seen any of his other reviews? No. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, uh, he's done quite the Star a lot. Wars ones are good. I like Star Wars ones the most. They're all pretty good, actually. Yeah, uh, I just did you see the thing they did about um, Prometheus, which is it's the guy who does that guy's voice and someone else basically going, "Why did the guy cut himself and pour the goop in when he had the canisters on his body? What's that about? Why were they running away from the spaceship? Did they not run to the side instead of just running away from it like a cartoon? Yeah, everyone Why did is they like... do that. Yeah, and it's him. It's him just asking these questions, and then the other guy is just like blank faced, open mouth staring. <laughs> Have you seen okay? Have you seen the greatest not, YouTube channel on YouTube? Not What's yet. It it's basically well, not, you mean Iota Corp? No. Yeah. Well, except hey! Iota Corp. It, no way. Except Iota Gaming. It's, yeah. uh, it's <laughs> there's this YouTube channel where literally all the guy does is try out knobs and goes uh, and makes noises according to the degree of which he likes a knob. Like a doorknob. For example, or, or, <laughs> or, or a light or, switch. Or a dick. That's or a light switch. Or a, di- or a dimmer switch. Or a or like a uh, music thing. Or, you know, whatever. No, not, that is a <laughs> British term, not an American term. Like the English term, knob, which is a yeah. euphemism. It just tries out knobs, I. Eh? What's okay. this? A lot loose knob. Hey, try my knob it's out. It's got a large head. It's got a large head. A small cap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Twin down is not, <laughs> <laughs> and it makes creaking noises when I twist it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Wait, like getting what, that one? What is this channel called? <laughs> What's it called? I, I want to see it. I think I don't remember what it's. I think it's called like knob test. Like I don't know what it's called, but it's basically just right test test testing knobs. I can't believe. Uh, that. I mean, no. I shouldn't be surprised that that's a YouTube channel, but... Mm, it's insane. I think there's a channel that I really like. It's called Aeronauts. You heard of these guys? No. Okay. No. They do they did something like this movie, 10 Guaranteed Improvements, and they do overdubs and really good quality special effects and stuff. And they say, this is what we would change to make it better, and it's just stupid. <clears throat> like You've got The Hobbit, where the stone giants shoot laser beams at their eyes and stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's like a Bane rap. Oh, uh, gosh. They, they did like an abridged version of each Star Wars prequel. And they are, they've changed the whole plot so that the Jedi are basically like an organization of stoner douchebags. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. And when they don't have lightsaber battles, they have dance fights, which I think is the best <laughs> idea ever. Okay, they no. D- mm-hmm. Yeah, I found the channel. They dance fight. No. And it's like uh, Star Wars Episode One Jedi Party. It's fucking great. <laughs> and uh, I think I really like the... Uh, the Bane rap was pretty funny. I'm Bane. Yes, that's my name. <laughs> they also did, which is I think it's my favourite thing ever, is you know the throne room scene at the end of A New Hope where they walk and get the medals and there's the big music by John Williams? Oh, yeah? Yeah, they, re- they removed the music and just added their own sound effects. It's just a silent, awkward scene. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so good because it's just like them walking and then you, you hear like a rebel in the background kind of go <laughs> and, <laughs> and then a guy just like sneeze a cargo pie outside it's so good <laughs> no, but I, I found knob I find, found the knob thing oh what's it called? it's called knob feel <laughs> no feel. And I mean, this is a guy that all he does is put like maximum 30 seconds of him feeling a knob and making noise. And there's a video here with 305,000 views. Which, yeah, I see it. It's the most recent one from two weeks ago. Yeah. Looking at it and watching it now. He is amazing. Hey, knob feel. 
He's yeah. like, hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. It's like for stereo systems, too. Yeah, but I mean, he has 5.4 thousand subs. <laughs> and 860 thousand I love, views. I love the way he's like, eh, mm, hmm, like he's not sure. <laughs> I, like, I like the I like the most recent one when he's playing the game at the same time. He's like, yeah. <laughs> he's playing the game at the same time. That's pretty funny. Uh, this flight stick one is actually pretty nice looking. Uh, oh. oh, just uh, 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 <laughs> uh, mm, uh. <laughs> he's got a Patreon. What? <laughs> yeah, yes, he does. Uh, I, I just got to bring this up since we're on the topic of videos. You've seen this before, right? Hmm. Jurassic Park theme song cover Melodica. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've seen it. Is it good? I wanna, I'm going to watch it again because it's fucking funny. Mm. To Jurassic Park. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. So good. It's just, it's amazing because of the way it just, it's perfect in how bad it is. Yeah. It's like, you cannot make <laughs> anything else sound quite uh, that bad. Oh, I love it. I'm going to, I'm going to YouTube shit movie theme cover. Titanic theme song in the recorder. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is perfect. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay, this is good. Check it out. Okay, watching it now. <laughs> yes, we get it for the podcast as well. Okay, no, that my favorite, my favorite artist uh, with on the flute mm-hmm. is a man named DJ Detweiler. Go on. He has Druid Sandstorm. <laughs> so uh, you should, you should listen to DJ Detweiler and Druid Sandstorm. It's it. amazing. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> it just has TJ from Recess, just like yeah. I have no reason. For no but reason. It's amazing. DJ Detweiler Sandstorm. Okay. I have like, ever since the Sandstorm craze happened, I haven't actually listened to Sandstorm. No, th- there's no, there's no like, no one's listening to the song. Yeah, it's just the number one answer for whenever what's the song in this video question <laughs> comes up. Yeah, 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 I know. But like, it's a good track. It's it's uh, electronic dance music. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's fallen out of use now that dubstep has come around. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking amazing. Was the klaxon originally in the song? No. When it goes... (laughs) I don't think so. I hope not. Oh, by the way, there's an air horn cover of um, the... Uh, 20th Century Fox theme. Oh yeah, no, it's I know it's amazing. <laughs> God. Oh man, it's I, so good. I, it's like I want to watch it now. <laughs> what is this? Our YouTube list now? <laughs> yeah, dude, we just got to devolve to this. No, okay. okay, no, we got to get back into topics here. Okay, we got we got to go back to shit starter. <laughs> okay, that's what we go back to. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, uh, how, how about we do copy South Park, but not the one you're thinking of? Hmm, which one? For $10, I will commentate on a YouTube video of your choice. Well, I mean, or, copyright issues, man. Um, but I, no, see, well, it, there's a weird area there because the, um, 
the copyright issues with the original commentary, and then I don't know how commentating over a commentary would work. It's it's copy like the that commentary is then copy like it's a fair use thing, which means that basically when you've released a video where you commentate something, you have a copyright to that video because it's your property because you made it. Even though you haven't copyrighted it in that way, it's still uh, yours. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's you know, it, there's a weird thing there, but you're not really allowed to do that, really. I've got one. Except for that one uh, dev who tried to do it. Yeah. I've got an idea for a shit starter. Okay. Hey. So, um... As we all know, that breathing is, uh, you know, thirsty and hungry work. And I want to beat the Guinness Book of Records record for most breaths taken in a year. And I need to keep my energy up. So I need funding to have food and drink provided to me while I breathe through the year to, you know, beat the record. So basically just so, getting fed intravenously. Just pe- so people spend, people send me money for food. <laughs> <laughs> and for um, for five dollars, I will take a breath that will. Uh, I'll write your name on it, and then I'll breathe it. Uh, You'll for, write your name on your breath. I'll write my no. I'll write their name in the air with my hand, and then I'll breathe it in. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then for ten for ten dollars, um, I will breathe with you. We won't be. We will won't be in the same place. You'll be where you live. I'll be where I live. But we'll breathe together. All right. <laughs> and for uh, two thousand dollars, I will fly to your house and I'll breathe out on you. Okay. <laughs> yep. And this is all so that I can fake beat a, re- a world record, but actually just eat for free for a year. <laughs> that's <seems> reasonable. <laughs> yep. yep. That's my shit starter. My shit a kicker. Totally noble goal. Yep. That's my shit kicker. <laughs> shit kicker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyone else got one? I, I I think I'm tapped out. Honestly, I had one good idea, one or two <laughs> good ideas, and that was it. It's just gonna go like ew, I can't. Mm. Matt, you're, you're, I know you're good for another one. See, the problem is you're all these Matt ideas. I'm and thinking Gillian, of, you do have another one. I know it. Yeah, the problem is all well, these ideas I'm coming up with take too much effort. Oh god! Okay. Like trying to think of Kickstarter ideas for other people. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty well, much. you know, that's that's what we have to do. Uh and uh I think that uh I might I might might possibly have an idea. <gasps> so okay. here's here's the plan. Do you need me to provide uh, epic backing music? Okay. Not, not it's not, 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 not worthy. There's always room for oddcast. Dude. Oh, wait, wait, oh, there it is. Yep. That's it. It's shit starter. We need to flush the shit. Yeah. We yeah. were okay, so it, it it needs to be flushed out, which means it needs to go into the toilet and then getting flushed into the system and then going spreading out into the ocean that is full of shit. Uh so basically here's uh here's the plan. You send us money. And then we use that money to buy things. Okay. Now, now wait. Hear me out. This is not the end. We okay. buy things and then we create statues using these things I like as props. Which basically means, for example, let us say we, we get $100... And we buy, you know, a set of spoons. And then we use these spoons to create a giant penis. Yep. And then for 30 more dollars, we'll send you a picture of the penis. And for $150, we'll send you a video of us paying someone else to make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that, that was good. <laughs> and that's the punchline. 
It's pretty great. I like it. I have. I actually. I actually have an environmental proposal for my next okay. one. Oh. As you all, as you all know, in America and some places in Europe, there's been um, a wavering, you know, problem with the population of honeybees because of like chemical spraying and stuff it's been affecting them so people have been losing bees and that's no good because we need them to have food so i propose yeah. we make a statue uh to, you know, to to encourage bees to congregate and to make more bees we make a statue of nicholas cage out of honey <laughs> <laughs> and um, then eventually the bees will surround his head like they <laughs> once did in history <laughs> that's my idea I mean, that must have been a terrible time for Nick Cage in his life. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's called uh, the Not the Bees campaign. <laughs> and uh, his eyes are um, his eyes are going to be um, beehives. That's, so they're in his eyes. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my idea. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Yay, I did it. Wonderful. Yep. Um... <laughs> I had one, but then I lost it. Oh, uh, wait a minute. It wasn't anything special. I, I remember it now. It was uh, just the usual DV- send us your DVD and we'll rewind it. For you <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> That's pretty great. I like that. You've heard about that, right? People were running that scam. I can believe it. I haven't heard well, of it. it, it no, hilarious. it wasn't mail DVDs. It was uh, for $10, put your CD in the disc tray of your computer and we'll rewind it for you remotely. <laughs> remotely. <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> Fucking amazing. That's so good. That's so that good. That was tur- that was turn of the millennium like stuff back oh, when, when, DVD back when people didn't know. Yeah, I get that. That's funny. Oh, uh, amazing. I like that. I should have thought of that. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> It's, that's a beautiful scam. Yeah. It's Isn't so, it? It's so perfect. Uh, oh, well, what else is it? You, but yeah, actually, that's a great idea for Kickstarter. Yeah. For $10, we'll send you this program, which isn't a keylogger. <laughs> <laughs> and it will automatically rewind all your DVDs. Uh huh. <laughs> Every single, even those not in the PC, will rewind. <laughs> We'll rewind for you. No extra charge. I love it. I love it. For free. For free. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm okay, trying to think. Uh, I have I an thought... idea. Mm-hmm. It's it's a music project, and it's basically pay me ten dollars to write one line in a song for you. Okay. So we need money. To set up the business, which is basically me going, or I don't really know what is in these cakes, or what is in these cakes. I like parrots sometimes when they're not pooping. <laughs> so basically, you're supplying them with a line, and then they have to write a song around it. Exactly. Or <laughs> you can supply us with a song, and we'll write a line for it. So a song that already exists. Yes. You can send us just a, any song and we'll write a line, a new line, uh, or we might even write the entire chorus, which will basically consist of words such as, I sometimes enjoy potatoes. It depends if they're cooked or not, but regularly potatoes taste like potato. And that's hot. Exactly. <laughs> or the chorus would be Cats. some other manner of non-words. Yes. I like, well, I like, well, it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I, I especially like the idea of them sending us songs that already have lyrics and we write lyrics for them and it's the same. Yeah. We'll write you the exact same song <laughs> you just sent us. All right. Well, um, we're closing in on two hours now. Fuck. Okay. okay. On that note. On that bombshell, yes. we bid you good night. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> uh, if we're doing this, we might as well just steal things at this stage, okay? Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> How about like um, uh, the, an Xbox? That's my kick shitter idea. An Xbox? Right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> the original one. The ori- <laughs> yeah, the one, that's, the one that doesn't ever break and still works right now. Because it's a good product, not like the new ones. Yeah. Just paint X, just paint a big number one on it. Oh, no, you want no, the number just, one just Xbox? Buy, just buy cardboard boxes and write X's on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's your Xbox, dick. You asked for an Xbox, I provide an Xbox. What's it to you? There, that reminds me of the people, who, of it's the parents who would buy just the boxes of video game systems yeah. and put other things inside. Oh, them. and it's like shoes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. So that is mean. such a dick move, though. Yeah. Um, that, that is to the me worst once. thing you can do to a child. Oh, you're that, getting its hopes up and then you're crushing its spirit. That's oh, my God, if I have actually, a child, messages. that is how I'll do it. I think this is actually a product online. You can buy fake video game console boxes. Like, you buy them and then you put actual presents inside of them. But until they open the box, it looks like they got the Gameotron 9000 with 24 games in full color. Yeah. Well, you know, that's that's how it is. I mean, that is how you crush a child, man. That's mixed messages, man. That's like trust issues in the future. Yeah. I know. <laughs> that's how you that's how you kill a child's innocence. Innocence. Yep. You you completely destroy it by making it think that it's having the greatest Christmas ever and then you're giving it socks. <laughs> yeah, even worse if you did it two years in a row. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about last year, son. Now that this time I joke. really got now you the Xbox I, 350. No, no, now this time I got you something exciting. I think you're gonna love it. It's in this box. And then he starts opening the box Sees that it's a con- like a console or a PC or something, and then he's like, oh, 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 oh. and then he opens and opens the box, oh, oh, oh. and then more socks. Oh. <laughs> and then he comes down, and then he's super depressed, and he comes down the next day, and his dad is uh, playing uh, like Titanfall, <laughs> and then he's like, <laughs> he's like, holy shit. Yeah, I just linked. I just linked the page for it. Oh my uh, god! Th- there's two of these. It's uh, the, the the one on the bottom is the connector cord, which is basically daisy chaining a bunch of power cords together. <laughs> connector cord. But <laughs> the t- top one is extreme chores. It's a Wii U, except all the controller add-ons are a rake, a y- a dish, like a frying pan to wash, a shovel for yard work, and a thing, a litter box scoop. That's what you get. That's your present. I like the idea that, you know, you put a good gift in this, like an actual cool thing in there, and then they open it and they're like, ah. Yeah, that would not be actually that bad. Yeah, like if you think you've got that and then you open it, and it's like, holy shit, it's the best. Yeah. It's a pair of shoes with springs on them so I can fly. <laughs> That's how flying works. Yep, fly. That's how fly. Fly. That's how flying works. You just <laughs> jump slightly higher. You just, when you dude, reach altitude, you'll fly automatically. You know what the trick is, right? No. Missing the missing the ground. <laughs> missing the ground, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I think seriously we should end this recording. Well, I thought oh, you yeah. did end. <laughs> no. No, it's been going this whole time. I, I've been Jesus. recording you people. <laughs> oh man. Okay, for for realsies, this is the oddcast. Signing out. Thank you for listening in. Hope yeah. you return to some more madness at some other point. At some point in the future. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oddcast, huh? What a load of shit.